Hello there and welcome to this unboxing and overview video of the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 780. Uh, this is Gigabyte's own version of the GeForce GTX 780 which means that this card comes equipped with the well-known WinForce cooler. The WinForce cooler on this card is the new one called the WinForce 3X 450W as we can see here in the front. And additionally this card comes overclocked from factory which means that it will give you more performance and be faster than the regular GTX 780. Uh, so, uh, the GeForce GTX 780 performs almost as good as a GTX Titan, but comes at a much, much more affordable price. So, if you're looking for a graphics card that will handle all your games on the max settings, this is one of the cards you'll be looking for. I thought that I will open up this box, check what's, what's inside of it, the content and all the extra stuff. So, if you're, looking, uh, if you're interested in this card or considering buying it, this will be a great opportunity for you to check it out. So, let's go! Okay, so here's the box of the graphics card that I thought we'd open up. So I start by opening up here. Uh, and inside we see another box with the Gigabyte logo. And uh, inside of this box is where the graphics card is. So I put it like this so you can see what's inside. And uh, here we see the graphics card itself. I will not touch, I will just put it to the side for the moment. We will talk about this one later. Okay, so here's what's inside of the box. Uh, here's a little cover you can remove like this. And underneath it, this cover, you see it, you get two cables. Uh, this is the cable required to put in the graphics card for the power from the power supply and in case you don't have the required cable on your power supply you can use these Molex contacts to to be able to use the power so it comes equipped with one for the 8 pin and another one for the 6 pin and you can connect this to the Molex if you like the cable from the PSU which is excellent next we do see a uh, Quick guide featured in multiple languages in case you've never installed a graphics card before or you need some help. You can read this guide and it will help you out. Great. And last but not least we have a CD that contains some graphics drivers and softwares. I can remove it from there. Okay, so here we see it includes Gigabyte OC Guru 2, which is a monitoring software and overclocking software for your Gigabyte graphics card. And it also contains the drivers. But as a usual recommendation, always download the latest ones from the internet. So that was what's inside of the box. I'll just put it back here. And we will continue with looking at the graphics card. Okay, so here's the protective and plastic bag uh, containing the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 780 WinForce. So I just removed the card from the bag. Whoa! This graphics card feels heavy and solid. It weighs almost a kilo, around 960 grams, and about the dimensions of the card. The length of the card is about 29 centimeters. The width of the card from the top here to the connector is 13 centimeters, and most importantly, the, the height of the card, this part here, is only 4 cm, and as we can see, it only covers up 2x PCI slots, which means you can run this card in an SLI config because it's so thin, and it won't take up any extra space in your case or on your motherboard. And additionally, if, if we turn the card around, we can here see that behind on the PCB we have some metal piece here, attached to the to the printed circuit board and what this metal piece does it that it eliminates the card from bending so this piece will hold the card in one piece it won't bend as some cards do due to a, a heavy cooler uh, this comes equipped with this metal bracket that will prevent it from bending which is great so you don't have to worry about the cooler being too heavy Okay, so about the specifications of the graphics card, since it's a GTX 780, it has 2304 so-called CUDA cores. And about the clock frequencies, this is an overclocked version of the graphics card, the clock frequencies of the core are at 954 MHz, which is almost 11% increasement of the original GTX 780. And the boost frequency, which is the frequency the card will reach when it's able to, is at 1006 megahertz, which is a 12% increasement of the original uh, clock frequencies from the GTX 780. So, all in all, it's overclocked 11 to 12% directly from the box. Great job. 
And about the memory, it has 3 gigabytes of memory running at 6 gigahertz, which is, uh, you can overclock it yourself since they haven't done so, but it's also running at 384 bit bus, so you won't have any bottleneck regarding you can't use all the VRAM, you will be able to use all the 3 gigs of video RAM on this graphics card. So specifications are great, and you, this is an overclocked variant, as I've said. Okay, about the cooling solution, this is the WinForce 3X. Uh, the reason it's called 3X is because it has 1, 2 and 3 ultra quiet fans that will run silent under heavy load and operation. And uh, underneath the fans we do see two massive heat sinks, one being over here and the other one being over here. And what's special about this heat sink over here is that it's called the triangle cool technology. And if you look at the heat sink, you do see it looks flat on the top on part of the heatsink and it goes down like a ramp on the other side and the reason it's shaped like that is because when this fan spins and pushes in air the air will be directed due to how the ramp is shaped so the air will be pushed up and down of the graphics not directly onto but up and down which will improve the the airflow the temperatures and will eliminate any turbulence created and uh, that's great, and that's what's called the triangle cool technology. And uh, the other heatsink here, you see that these two heatsinks are combined. Behind this fan, you do see some orange copper stuff. These are the heat pipes. There are a total of six heat pipes, two of them being eight millimeters thick, which is very thick, and four of them being six millimeters thick. And they combine all the elements in here to create a one solution. So. Uh, the heat goes on, the heat, heat pipes uh, takes up the heat and the fans will cool them down. So this is the WinForce 3X 450 Watt and the reason it's called 450 Watt is because it's able to remove 450 Watts of heat which is amazingly high and it's, it has been proven so it's just, not just the name. So that explains the cooling solution in a short. Another important thing to know is that, that Nvidia has brought something to the GTX 780 called the GPU Boost 2.0. What this does is that when the card is running below a certain temperature, the card will overclock itself to reach higher values and therefore give you more performance. So now it's not only important to have a good cooler for the silence or for the airflow, it's also important for the performance. And that's why having a good cooler gives you more performance and more FPS in your games. And that's why I think it's important to really have a good cooler. Since this is a graphics card, you want to connect it to some sort of monitor or screen and you do so via the outputs here. We see a total of four of them. The first one being a display port, the second one being HDMI, which is pretty standard, and the last two being DVIs. The first one is a dual link DVI D and the second one being a dual link DVI I. And you can actually run up to four screens at the same time via these ports. You can also run a 120 hertz screen if you like to do so, but that's important stuff that you can run up to four screens at the same time on this graphics card. And some additional information about the graphics card. Uh, as we saw before, the power connectors to the graphics card is one 8-pin connector and a 6-pin connector. And in case you lack those cables on your power supply, you have gotten in the package some adapters for the Molex. Perfect. And another big, big surprise, which I'm very excited about, is the PCB. On the back of the card it's all black. It's not blue any longer as Gigabyte usually does. It's all black. And this brings a better color and you can use it in any color scheme in your computer. Okay, so I'm now done with the unboxing and the overview of the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 780. And what can I say about it? The card feels very solid and well built in your hands. And about the cooling solution, the WinForce 3X 450W, it feels great, it looks great, uh, it's it looks very promising both temperature wise and noise wise so I look forward to try it out. And the card feels very great overall, it comes overclocked from factory by uh, over 11%. So uh, I'm just looking forward to try it out, I will benchmark it, try different things with it and post all the results. So in case you're wondering anything special about the card or want me to benchmark a specific game or something like that, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. And uh, thank you for watching this video.